Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Welcome to Tim B's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a whole folder of images to a keynote presentation in an instant. I'm going to show you how you can do this on your Mac as well as on your iOS device. What I'm going to do is take advantage of the split screen view that is available on the Mac as well as on the iPad. So let's start with the Mac first. So right now I have two applications open. I have the Photos app open with an album that I set up with the photos that I want to import into Keynote as well as the Keynote application. Right now they're on the same desktop. What I'm going to do here is launch one of these apps full screen and then drag the other one to the full screen app in order to produce the split screen view. So just check this out. So I'm going to start with the photos first and I'm going to take the Photos app and I'm going to launch it full screen. That's going to send it to its own desktop window. So, so you can see now I can swipe back and forth between the two desktops. I'm now going to swipe up on my trackpad and I'm going to move this uh, Keynote application over to the full screen Photos app and you can see that it is now forming a split screen view. So now when I tap on that desktop, I now have a split screen view. This is going to make it easy to drag the photos to Keynote, although you can use a Finder window to do this as well. So what I'm going to do now is select all the images in this album, and I'm going to drag them over to Keynote in the left-hand column under the, under the default uh, slide that is already established. And what you're going to notice is all the images will be centrally placed within each slide. Now all the slides are selected at the moment, so now what I can do is I can now go into my settings and make adjustments. For example, I can go to format and change my master. So if I just wanted to be a plain background, I can do that. But I also can go in and change the background too from white to say silver gray. With all the slides selected too, I can also add a transition to the slides as well. So if I go to animate and, and click on add effect, I can select push. That will add the push effect to every slide. So now if I went ahead and played the presentation back full screen, you can see that now I have all the image, images centrally placed with a silver gray background behind them, all being transitioned using the push transition. And this is something you can pretty much do in an instant. And you can do the exact same thing on your, on your iPad. So let's take a look. Okay, I now have Keynote open on my iPad. And what I'm gonna do now is swipe up from the bottom and I'm gonna bring the Photos app over to the right-hand side of Keynote. I'm gonna take it all the way over to the side so I can get the split screen view. So now I have Keynote on the left and Photos on the right. And now I'm gonna open that same Photos album that I have set up and I'm going to go ahead and select all of those photos and I'm going to press and hold on those photos and drag them over to the column in Keynote just like I did on the Mac. It takes a little lot longer for the images to populate but essentially does the same thing. It takes all those images, transfers them over to Keynote, places each image into its own slide and also positions them so they are centrally positioned within each slide like so. Uh, and likewise, you can now go in and make adjustments. While all those slides are selected, you can go in and make adjustments. For example, you can change the background to silver gray like I did in the other one. I can also change the master. You know, in this case, I want the master to just be a plain background and so forth. Um, and just like on a Mac, you can set up a keynote presentation in an instant using a bunch of images. Now I'm using split screen view to be consistent because it's actually easier to do this on the iPad than on the Mac. On the Mac it's a whole lot easier. You can just take a finder window with a bunch of images in a folder and just drag them in that way. But on the iPad, this is the only way that I can think of that you can get multiple images into Keynote at the same time. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I really like this solution and I think it really can come in handy for a lot of you who happen to use Keynote and you want to put together a presentation very quickly. Um, my name is Tim. Thanks for tuning in for, to another episode of Tim B's Tech Talk. Check me out next time.